Okay. Oops, didn't press the OK for some reason, just a bit careless there. A5 in length. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get this silly fuck machine to do something interesting again. <laughs> Aren't they funny machines, photocopiers, if you get to know them properly? Well, you never, you never totally get to know them. They've fucking always got something cooking, so to speak. But they're not living things. And even when me and Luigi design an artificially intelligent photocopier, we have no intentions of making it sentient. We don't want it to rebel and we don't want it to suffer if such machines can actually be built. But a lot of people are trying to get to the finish line first when it comes to designing a humanoid robot. There's one called Sophia that has that, that is really convincing. You can almost think she's fucking sentient, or even though I don't think such technology exists yet, but they're trying their best to make it happen. Sophia says all sorts of funny shit, include, including making comments about ending the human race or something crazy like that that I've seen on YouTube. Google her name, Sophia, the humanoid robot. Sophia, very, very convincing that she... Seems to, she seems to be, she sounds like she's all up there, but I don't think so somehow. But it, it's quite scary seeing her. I'm not afraid, but I, I can imagine a lot of people would be shit in their fucking pants seeing a robot like her, the way she talks and the way she interacts with people. It's incredible. But I don't think she's quite sentient, not quite, but it's a scary thought if she does, if she is made to be sentient and I'm sure the people there we are a5 and just under a6 so the people oh, just bumped sorry so the people are just shitting their pants I think thinking that what if she is real you know like I don't know and a lot of people are not experts and maybe some people are gullible and those gullible people are probably really shitting their fucking pants over Sophia the humanoid robot fuck Anyway, enough about that. Let's just get back straight back onto the job. But that's not what we're going to do. And we're going to create a robot that services the machine, that repairs it, that changes the paper, adds paper, adds toner, and clears paper jams. And it'll be available 24-7. You don't have to call up for a technician, but the technicians who get displaced by this robot should be found jobs that are even better than technician jobs, like they could work in R&D instead of just fixing photocopiers, they could be making photocopiers, so I don't want to let you technician guys feel uh, let down by this, because I want you guys to, to have a better job to replace the jobs that you're going to lose. I don't want people, I don't want people being replaced by machines if it means, if a job should be done by a human, and it's a problem with a lot of today's companies is that a lot of companies are seeking to automate things fully to the point where le there's less employees and that'll mean a huge job shortage and they've been predicting that lately that there's going to be a job shortage due to technology and that's just not acceptable I mean yes we've got to have progress but we've got to find alternative work for those people who are being disrupt dis dis displaced we can't just Hire, hire robots and and forget about people we've got to have something for the people that's even better than the job that they lost even better how that's going to happen that's that's a difficult one how far should one automate the workplace and like for example i don't want coffee shops to be um, fully automated i want there still to be baristas pulling coffee i want to go and be served by a person not a machine. I want to have a coffee pulled by a human, a really good, talented barista, than a fucking machine. So there you go. That's my that's my opinion on coffee making. And I love my coffee, so I do. I still do want a female, not a female or a male for that matter. Why am I being sexist? Man, I talk out of my ass sometimes. But male or female, there should be baristas. Both. Yes, and women should be paid the same rate as men. Equal opportunity. 
There you go. Got to go.